What type of music do you enjoy listening to? I listen to classical music and mostly um, from the radio. Well, that's really easy. Um, there's two real important bands for me. Um, I'm more of a, uh, well, I used to be um, very much into Britpop as a teenager, so I always liked uh, people like Pulp. And one of them is the Manic Street Preachers because they are designed for life. And the other one is the Super Furry Animals. And their music is just amazing. It's just, it makes me buzz. And it's, it's what I listen to when I'm driving. Probably not what I listen to when I'm trying to calm down. Blur, suede. I don't really have a CD player. And I definitely don't have an MP3 player or an iPod or anything like that. And I listen to the radio quite often when I'm working in my office. What type of music do you enjoy listening to? Oh, man, all of it. Loads of music. So classical, uh, favourite piece, probably Berlioz, Symphony Fantastique. I also like crusty things like the levelers and things like that. Rock music, Metallica, Fade to Black. I listen to mostly um, soul and R&B music from before about 1978. Folk music. Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, Motown stuff, that kind of thing. My wife actually has got a folk music band called uh, Novinka Folska Band. I like all kinds, but I like bits of all kinds, if you know what I mean. Electronic music, uh, probably Cosmic Baby uh, is one of my favourite uh, guys there. A fair bit of heavy metal all the way through to more middle of the road stuff like R.E.M. Public Enemy, Rap. There's no one set genre. There's no one set band or artist. All sorts. I mean, there really isn't much that I haven't enjoyed. I mean, like every genre of music, it's going to be good and bad. Uh, I like good music is the only uh, sort of <laughs> way that I can categorise what I like. I've got thousands of albums. I play Sing Star and Rock Band 3, so I like the screamo and the metal but I also like sometimes chaving it up with a bit of R&B so it's it's a varied mixed bag don't get me started on that stuff. What are your favourite books scientific and non-scientific? Okay scientific my favourite book or let's say the most influential book or one of the most influential books I believe is um, The Chemical Bond by Poling it really did shape the way that chemists could see chemical reactions and, and the way that atoms could interact with one another. So I think that really is one of the most influential books. So The Nature of the Chemical Bond by Pauling. It's really quite a difficult question because I have lots and lots of books, thousands. And um, very often I enjoy the book that I'm reading at the time. I don't, actually, I don't read science books really outside of, outside of here. Um, so I would probably say my inorganic chemistry textbooks. When I was a student, or in fact at school, I was very keen on a book on physical chemistry by an American called Walter J. Moore. It was given to me by my cousin Janet, and I've still got it. But you can see from the dust I haven't used it for some time. I read books about um, the origin of the universe, things like that. Um, so mostly popular science, and then obviously I read chemistry textbooks. It used to be the leading book in physical chemistry. Nowadays, they're much more modern ones, but it's still very good for defining some things. And from time to time, I do look at it despite the dust. Richard Holm, uh, The Age of Wonder. Uh, it's all about how science has changed and it's moved away from the time of one person at a bench making a discovery and having a eureka moment to the way it's done now where you have teams of researchers and you have to chip away at a problem for years to, to get a solution. One of my favourite books is a book called Molecules Which Changed the World. So that's a nice scientific book. Uh, it's by a guy called Casey Nicolau, a professor over at Scripps Institute, and a friend of mine, actually, Tamsin Montagnan, who's over in Crete. As regards other books, I don't like, or I don't read very much fiction. I suppose I, I like true stories. I like biographies rather more. Graphic novels, mainly. Um, 
There's a series called Transmetropolitan by Warren Ellis, which is my all-time favourite. And if I could, in an alternate reality, be Spider Jerusalem and get away with half the things that he said to people, I would. With regard to a non-scientific book, then I think my favourite book has to be the, um, the Hobbit, because it's a great story and, and um, you can read it on a number of different levels and it's just, just a really good, good story. I look forward to seeing the film. Non-science books, uh, okay, I'm a bit of a kid. Uh, I like um, things with wizards and vampires in them. I love Harry Potter and I love Twilight. And uh, I really like for more fiction, non-science sort of area, really like uh, Philip Pullman's Dark Trilogy uh, novels. I don't know, I quite like, fa if we were talking about novels, um, I quite like fantasy novels. Uh, so uh, there's a Raymond D. Feist book called Magician, which I really enjoyed when I first read it about 20 years ago. Or Lord of the Rings would be another one. I love that sort of slightly sci-fi fantasy uh, type of stuff. One of the books, and this is a slight cheat, but a book which I'm very fond of, is my father's autobiography, where he tells of his childhood in Russia. And I can show it to you because you can't buy it anymore. And it's called The Silver Samovar. If you don't know what a samovar is, you'll have to look on Brady's other channel, um, Words of the World, which will explain to you. But in general, I like books that tell me about interesting things that have happened in the past.